Dad, that was me. I did that. Oh, I got a loser for a daughter. Ah. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Oh, no. No, not the biggie smalls. Huh. No, I don't like this story. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me take a oh oh my gosh oh it's like the the delightful children from down the lane from cold day kids next door what all right enough of that Hey guys, it's Moan and welcome to another uh, new gameplay. Streamer said yes. Yes. Do I want to keep the music going? Alright, for now I'm going to turn it off. Hey guys, it's Moan and welcome to a gameplay. Alright, I don't know if this is going to be a continuing thing. This is called Dream Daddy. Happy Valentine's Day, first of all. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm actually recording this the day before, so it's not Valentine's Day yet for me. But it will be Valentine's Day for you guys. This is going to be an exclusive Valentine's Day gameplay so i don't think i'm gonna play through the entire thing this is recommended to me by my cousin so how are you guys doing what are you drinking you guys i'm gonna share a happy story with you since it's valentine's day and everything and you know it's the time where you spread the love and all that nonsense i went to starbucks and i'm just going to give you the gist of it but mostly i just saw this guy with a cane and i held the door open for him and the lady he was with she ended up buying me my drink and my my donut as well so that's what I have. And I was so happy. We had a little nice conversation. It was nice. I was like, oh, this fits so perfectly. The sun is shining today. It does so perfectly for the Van Valentine's Day theme. But I'm going to go ahead, turn the music back on. I have streamer mode set on. Uh, turn the music back on because I do want to hear some music, but we're going to make sure there's no copyrighted music in this. So I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are having a great Valentine's Day. Let's just get go ahead and... This music is so cringy. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's see if we can find our dream daddy. I'm going to try to make this a pretty decent length video. I don't think this game has voice acting, so you're going to have to deal with me butchering the reading. And no, I don't do voices, so none of that. Okay, oh, should I do voices? This is Valentine's Day. I don't know. We're not going to do it. All right, let's go. Somebody snore really hard. Cool. Dad? <laughs> Dad, wake up. Wait, I thought I was a girl. Wake up, pretend to be dead. Five more minutes. Uh, we'll pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad, this doesn't work. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Hey, now. Amanda, I bequeath to all you, to you, all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, your course better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Mm -hmm. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning up a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Yikes, Dad. Breath. Go brush your teeth. Nice. Being told off by our daughter. Okay, so the drink I'm actually what? having Build is this. That dad. I'm actually building a fall. Oh, snap! Am I building the dad for me? Okay, let's do it. Build that dad. He is really buff. Oh, we got the dad belly. Mm-hmm. Right, let's see. The thick tank bod. The thick tank. <laughs> the slim tank bod. The slim binder bod. The thick binder bod. And the athletic binder bod. Should we go just... I don't want him to be hairy, though. Hair... Oh, there we go. We can turn it off. Okay, let's go with the default. Yeah, you can wear... You don't need a tank top. Alright, guys. I'll see you after I'm done doing this, because this is going to take a while. And I'm really slow with this kind of stuff. Got it. Oh! Oh, snap! Yes! <laughs> Take off the shadow. No! Wait, is his tongue out? His tongue is out. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I gotta name you now? That. 
Oh no! I don't know what to play. No. Sure. Be that guy. Hey. Did you fall asleep packing? Oh! Here he is! I am playing the guy that I made. Okay, so our character's name is Quentin Dad, okay, you guys? I couldn't come up with anything original, alright? At first I was gonna give him a funnier name, but I couldn't think of anything, so we're just gonna go with this. So, this is our character. He's looking pretty fierce. He's not too crazy looking. I know what you guys are thinking. Why didn't you do anything crazy? I'm just not. Okay, I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is filled except for one. Oh no, wait, straggler. Mm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and, and little photo albums. Right. Well, I haven't seen these in years. I pulled out all the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we began looking through it. Look at her! Oh, she got. She has baby legs that would just stomp out someone, doesn't she? Look at it! That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father- wait, the only way your father and I- the only way your mother and I- Wait, I'm so conf- The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you start crying again. You spent the two the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Uh, that's not healthy. I'd be kind of worried. Nice. Halloween when you were were maybe four. He said maybe four. Oh my god! Oh my god! That dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in the dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization was a realization of, of your greatest fear, I think. It kind of reminds me of this video. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably saw this. This little girl, she sees her, her shadow for the first time and she starts running away from it crying. I feel so heartbroken for her. Great. Yep. Definitely repressed that memory. And this was you and your horse face. Okay, that's a kind of a cute like spirited away face to go through. Oh. Dad. I believe you named that plush to that plush horse Sir Horshington the Brave. Oh no. I don't think that was his I meant lunch for the photo, but I quickly snatched away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arm. Yeah, because you're a dad. Nice try, but this is an important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your your, your scaban. What is that? Your scaban? Ouch, kid. What is that? The Scamunist Manifesto had a chant back in the day. What is that? I don't know what that is. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> hey, it's Emma P. Uh, they were in a play? Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. You know, that would bug me, because I would be like, they're both named Emma. You expect me to remember the last name? Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I would never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Alright, Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets. Tried to steal people's pets? Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. What the heck? Let's make this interesting. Aww. Dad, that was me. I did that. Ah, oh, I got a loser for a daughter. Ah. Oh my gosh. You couldn't hold it in? You couldn't make it to a toilet? Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. Why am I having oh. this conversation with you? She never told anyone, though. True, true blue, that Emma R. Huh. Anyways, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photo, the first photography award you ever won. Okay. Yeah, and I got it. Got us twenty dollar gift card to McFriday. Yes. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. What do y'all have an interest in life? I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Aww. Dad, still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Huh. Still proud of you, though. 
Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out the last photo. Hmm. Aww, I love you, Amanda. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. <sighs> I finally decide to break the silence. Oh no, it's sad. This was the day you were born. Oh, this was the day we adopted you? Okay, okay, I see what you're doing, game. I got you, I got you. Don't worry, I'm about to make this a tearjerker, you guys. But we're also gonna have some comedy in it. Okay, this is the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. Wait, what? We got into a car accident right there in the park hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little lady, the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eye, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Wait. <sighs> Did she die in the part? She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss her. Did- Did- Wait, 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 wait. I thought you said it was just the fender bender. Did she die? What happened? I can't even imagine what- I should've went with- We were adopted. What's that story all about? I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Eh? She pats me on the back. Eh? Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The movie fans won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I brought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm... Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always have very strong arms. Uh-oh, he's calling you buff. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the open front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? She's bad. I should have said you were adopted. You're no child of his. Well, where do you get this where do you get this this whole thing from? You're a very imaginative child. That's not imaginative. She's destructive. You should watch out for her. She might become a pyromaniac. <laughs> Hey, remember when I broke the window? See, that's what I'm talking about. And she seems excited about it. Hold on, let me take a bite of my donut. <laughs> Just very, very tasty. Oh, everything. Okay. We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Yeah, his face says it all. Amanda, you should not be proud of yourself about this. You really shouldn't. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. You're too old for that right now. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? The fact that he's encouraging this is kind of scary. We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stinks a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get in the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear into the rearview mirror. So, so what? Hmm. So, sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, scenic, downtown Maple Bay. Our new home features. Oh, stamps! Washer and dryer hookups. A two-car garage. Multiple places to sleep. Ow! Oh, yes, we want a big house. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor spaces where you can, yes, catch a wink. He says sleep on the floor. Yeah. What a deal. I mean, if I sleep, if sleep weren't for the week, you sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pop. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last huh. house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spend. Hey. I think it's great. Won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do the three-point turn on their attitude. I know, right? I don't know how to do that either. Okay, Missy. Send her off to send her off to somewhere else. Send her off somewhere else. Pack her away. Send her somewhere else. I don't want her. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You're the very, you're the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. I'm in the last year of high school. I'm practically dust. 
she said in my last year. Wow. Yeah. You're a real... Don't you dare. Uh-oh. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that. Ah. But I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery mm -hmm. shopping. Pops, cool your jet. You have to promise me that we're going to get a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Yes, enough with the back and forth. We pull up to the new house and step inside. Whoa, this looks like the place from San Andreas and not the good place. The lawn is freshly mowed and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! Uh oh. I want the swift kick from Amanda. The for sale sign is no more. She's already breaking stuff. Nice form, sweet Pete. And this is why she does it. <laughs> you keep encouraging it. Got a problem with authority? Wait, she said, I got a problem with authority. Did I read that wrong? I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Hey! There is nothing wrong with having an ice cream sandwich at 10 freaking a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? No! Coffee! I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I thought we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. I have my coffee right here! Let me take some more. Ingestion, y'all! And it's bad because this is the exact espresso coffee that I had the last time. I forget which gameplay it was. I mentioned it. And it kept me wired for a really long time. I think that day I didn't go to bed until 6 a.m. the following day. Okay, let's do it. First is the worst, second is the best. What is he talking about? We walk down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Yeah. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. Oh, you don't say the coffee shop I went to is a Starbucks. It's a convenient place for me to walk to. I'm loving this already. I feel the parallels. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Wow, he's an introvert. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he is very much within my personal zone mm -hmm. a true introvert dad and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug is there a bin do you go set up do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it or do you leave it there and fill your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're the jerk who left their mug Ugh. dad are you just afraid to meet new people yes amanda <laughs> we walk inside hey. oh snaps i like your hair and your tattoo arms arm sleeves or a sleeve tattoo what do they call it are so cool I'm sorry, I love your, the thingy on the back, back there, the thing on the wall, the tapestry. What else you got in here? Let's see. Uh, are those awards or are those pictures that belong in a surgical room of a knee that needs surgery? Because that's what those things in the background look like. All right, all right, okay. This is a, a, a very indie style cafe. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the wall, and patrons lounge around on, on well-worn end couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to a little stage. Now, I don't like the well-worn couches. Ugh. Hey. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Matt? What's, what's, oh, it's, uh, it's kind of, oh, you mean the Coffee Spoon? I thought you said his name was Lance. I was supposed to say, don't, don't say hey. that. It gets mentioned in this poem I like. I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all here. 
I'm sure we're all here getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey. Okay. Hmm. So, what'll it be? That was really awkward. <laughs> I scan the chalkboard menu, and I am immediately overwhelmed. I like your eyebrows, sir. I'll have a... a Godspeed. You, black coffee. Oh, that is not cool, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm reading that wrong, but black coffee, black guy, like mm, chai ant ward. What? Ice Tegan and Sarah. Let's go with one of these. Ice Tegan and Sarah. Chai. We'll go with the chai because I do like me a chai latte. Mm. Spicy. You like that? Yeah, we're not going with that first option. That'll probably make him mad. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Die Ant Wood is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their, uh... Ab wait, advocate? Ab They're pretty well known for their, uh, evocative image. Imagery and hyper-stylized music videos. See, I knew how to say the word. I didn't have to go to Google and type it in, the definition, and then push the little, little button to figure out how to say it. I know how to say it. The music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Oh. I'm doing that thing again. Hey. But coming right up. Mm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Oh. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Oh, no. No! Not the biggie smalls! Oh my gosh, will I be able to make it through this? Yeah, I'm not a fan of puns. I am not. Uh, medium. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Bye, Matt. Matt says to make our drinks. Matt says to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's this deal? Quentin does not like him. <laughs> Let that man make his pawns. They're cooler band. They're a cooler band than you listen to anyways. Wow. Hey. Hey. This guy was cool once. The couch this couch is pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. That sounds like that couch has been used way too much. I would not like to say I don't like I don't like when things are really, really worn down like that. It, uh, uh, I don't like it. Like, like, have you guys ever been on the bus? Like, old buses and the seats look kind of torn. I don't like to sit on those seats. I don't, it just the torn up look of it kind of bothers me. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. And it nudges me. The place is right next to our house and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as comfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Come on. What do you say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drink down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Huh. Hi. We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Quentin. Hey, dude. He just called me dude. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Huh. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Oh, you got a daughter too? Yeah, I'm sure we'll... We'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> okay, it has some really charming moments. You know what? Let me get you guys... Let me get your... Your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe. I need help coming up with a name for it. You know what? Nah, I'm putting my coffee cup down. Sir, I have had enough of these characters asking me names for uh, their products, right? And then we're not getting paid for it. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Something similar happened in the most recent Final Fantasy game that's going up today, actually. And, uh... 
the guy a guy did the same thing. He's like, I want to name my my restaurant. Can you help me come up with a name? I'll give you some wood. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's pretty much what he said. And I'm like, okay, here's the name. Now we got this guy right here doing the same thing. Well, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna give you a horrible name. I think we're gonna have to test taste test it first so we can uh get the full flavor profile of you know and really appreciate the flavor sensation of Amanda nods vigorously she knows this game yeah we need to give that nana bread a taste if you want us to a free creative labor I think that would be come that would commence commence hang on I think that would be commensurate with uh don't worry, I didn't have to look that up. I knew exactly how to say that word. I didn't go to Google and type it in the definition and then push a little icon to, to, for the guy to tell me how to say it. That'd be stupid. Like, I don't know how to say that. I was close. I taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyways. <laughs> um, sorry, do not come at my characters, okay? Do not come at my characters, okay? They're doing this for free. <laughs> All right, right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Yes. This is amazing. Oh. Thanks, the secret ingredient is banana. Hmm. Okay, so any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dead band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> you know what? I can see how my cousin could probably enjoy something like this. I don't like the puns. It cringes the cringe. <laughs> I'm dying inside. Banana bread kid Kennedy. Grateful banana bread. What does that even mean? That's not even a pun. Right said banana bread. These are all horrible. I don't even know because they're all bad. Which, which one is the worst one? This stupid one right here. Well, hey, he likes that! Like, right said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. I don't even know what it means. I don't even like it. And I don't, I don't like it, and I don't get it. If I walked into a coffee shop and they had these names, I would walk right out. I'd be like, what the heck am I walking into? Oh. What in the Twilight Zone? It actually was a nice, has a nice ring to it. You guys are made, a match made in heaven, that's for sure. Really? Oh. Yeah. Right said, banana bread, strong decisions. That's art, baby. Oh. Quentin is like, <laughs> he liked my idea. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professional. Hey. Hey, yeah. Enjoy your coffee. Bye, Matt. Thanks, baby. What the freak is that name? Hey. <laughs> See? It sounds good when you say it. No, it doesn't! Across the way, a man catches my eye. Really? No wonder he looks like a criminal! <laughs> this man looks like a criminal! He has disheveled hair and shadows in places you just should not have shadows on your faces. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee I always meet just for a moment. I, has, I hastily look away, hoping he doesn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. I see you're into the dangerous type, huh, Quentin? Thanks for stopping in. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if his wife or her mom probably crashed the car herself. And he just called it a simple fender bender. It wasn't no simple fender bender. She full blown going 90 miles per hour into, into another car. Take care. Okay. Now that we're full on caffeine, where to? I should get back to unpacking. Let's get some fresh air. I need a nap. Yeah, let's get some air. Time to soak up all the vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are going to get so strong that we're going to hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with our their bony fingers. What the freak, Amanda? Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park. Practice makes permanent. What? That's actually a pretty good thing. <laughs> Amanda and I began a stroll through the neighborhood. I don't know if we probably should have went for a walk, actually. But that weird brooding guy inside the cafe? 
I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of nearby barbecues drifts through the air. This is actually a pretty nice walk. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll stick our head over the fence and they'll share some of their barbecue with us, right? That wouldn't be creepy at all. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the, play the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but a band of spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! <laughs> Ow! Snaps! This was a horrible idea. We shouldn't have come here. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Oof! <laughs> a corgi! <gasps> Oh, that thing is terrifying. That is not a corgi. With a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck, bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. How did you throw this, you freaking not corgi? Bark! He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Pet the dog. Pet him! Where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs. We need some chin scratches in here. Nah, that's too personal. Dare we try the butt pet? Okay, our guy is weird. Like, what is this? Give him the- rub him on the head. He used to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. Oh, the dog is playing. Hey! Okay, so you and- you and the other guy at the cafe- cafe were the two body shapes I was gonna go choose, but what's the point? Cause I can't even see my character's body. We just literally saw from his neck up. A guy in a Halloween shirt jaw wait, a Hawaiian shirt, wow, shirt chalks over to us and takes the frisbee from me. <laughs> you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hand, not your face. How are you gonna tell me you could have caught that? He wasn't even, he didn't know he was a part of your stupid game. He just walks into the park and gets a face full of frisbee. And you're like, you could have caught that. He didn't even know it was coming. Well, you're traditionally, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch you with my teeth next time. What the freak? You know, whatever. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> huh. I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. He liked me saying that. I'm Quentin, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Okay, y'all getting personal kind of quick, huh? Hi. Huh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. What, you have a daughter too? Okay, so this is the second person we met that has a daughter. Where's yours? Ryan gestures over to a grassy cro- No. Where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Ah. This is Daisy. She's reading the brother- What? Car- 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 Karma, car, car, karma. That's what it's gonna be called. It's gonna be called karma. I'm not about to do this. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Like 12? This make me feel kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. How old is she? Hey. 10. Wow. She's. <laughs> She's a pre car pre pre pre. pre She's a precocious little youngster. I didn't have to look that up. I knew exactly how to say that. I didn't butcher it the first few times I tried it. Nope, not once. Take that in your face, 10 year old that has the comprehension skills of a freaking 80 year old. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My natural dad and thing kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Why are we playing Pokemon music right now? Oh no, it's happening. Uh oh. Brian, go. <laughs> go on. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. She didn't say anything. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. HP. <laughs> Item. <laughs> Great card. Child art. Spelling bee photo. A band-aid. How do I go back? No, how do I go back? 
You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your backpack pocket. Dad, awesome grades. Brian loses 25 AP. Oh snap! You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch! Maybe it kind of was kind of weird. You lose five HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. I don't like Brian already. He just came here to brag. You threw a frisbee at somebody, and then he's like, "Hey, here's my daughter. This is what she's good at." Blah 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 blah. You do this to every person you meet. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose ten health. Can it be my turn? Exactly, that's why you got 55 health. What is what is D H T R? I don't know what that means. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. Okay. That's right. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. He loses <laughs> Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. He was 15. I'm still winning though, item. Bell and B, yup. Fumbling through your phone. Phone's browser. You managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations. Wait, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you lose 5 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How's this even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky, sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You no, what? 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 Last week, unfaulted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bag. It's extra powerful. He loses 20 HP. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Oh no, I'm losing. Uh, brag again. Uh, Amanda's in all honor classes. I should have just kept on bragging. Why'd I use this stupid spelling big picture? Because he wouldn't even give me a turn. Tin hell. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda's kind of a bristle, kind of bristle at that one. You lose 20 HP. Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a great, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah, do you have to add insult to Andrew by being such a gracious winner? No, he's not a gracious winner. He's a freaking douchebag and a freaking... He don't have the bragging rights. I just met you, like, three seconds ago. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. I already don't like you, Brian. Your daughter could have just said, Hey, Dad, just chill out. But no, she was all in for it, so, so flick off both of you guys. We just moved in. Do you live around here? No, I'm about to be mean to him, Brian. You, you, on my, you know. That's not cool, buddy. Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. Oh, and you gonna try to take Mac as well? I'll see about that. Huh. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? I don't like this guy. What a lovely place. Exactly! Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. You're horrible! You walked over, bragged, said, I live in a, I live by a cul-de-sac, and it was like, okay, bye. Threw a frisbee at his face, and then said you could have caught that. Yeah, definitely, bye, bye, bye. Brian and Daisy walked further into the park with Maxwell, happily trotting along in tow. I like Maxwell more than both of them. That's a shame. How do I like the dog more than the people? Do you get the feeling that we were trying, they were trying to one-up us? That he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Breaking stuff? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shane, that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington and, Bra and the Brave and Epic... An epic in seven parts by Amanda, Dad. <laughs> oh, wait. That's why it threw me off, because I named his last name Dad. We laugh off the horse epic. And walk around the park a bit more. And during the day off. Y'all, I can't. I can't with this. Go take a nap. Let's go on a pack. Let's do it. We should head home. I'm going to need four horse, four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed. And I'd like to not have to sleep on the floor tonight. 
Four hours? Jeez. Alright, I don't know what bothers me more about this picture. If it's the curtain on the left-hand side that doesn't have a bottom, like it just stops halfway at the point of the window, you know, instead of touching the floor, or at least closing up to the floor, or the fact the couch is pushed back so far, it's pushing the curtains back, which means that somehow it's phasing into the wall. Yeah, I don't know which one. Okay, I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? Sounds like The Sims. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Oh. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Does it start with an S? Is your name Steve by any chance? I don't know how I feel about the pink and blue, but the cookies? Leave them. Is it peanut butter cookies? Hello? Whoa. Oh, your name is Joseph. You don't look like a Joseph. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Joseph, if I'm being honest, you seem like the kind of person that's really nice, but is a killer. Are you that guy that was sitting in the cafe staring at us? You just went to go clean yourself up? You kind of look like him, not gonna lie. I know he had brown hair, y'all. Okay, he could have dyed his hair. Okay. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Quentin. What? That's what's what my name is. Oh, Quentin likes you. Oh. Quentin really likes you. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy. Why does everybody have a daughter? No one has a son? My daughter, Christy, wanted to let you know she's baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, <laughs> but between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah, ha, yeah, because she wanted to say the cookies were from her, but she just put in the chocolate chips. Hilarious. Super hilarious. Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Uh. Y'all look great together. We already know who Quentin likes. Well, thanks for the cookies. Lord's Amanda disappears with the cookies. She got the right idea. Aww. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I know, right? There you go, Joseph. <laughs> I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. <laughs> I have four kids. <laughs> what have you done? Exactly. Oh, uh, I meant... <laughs> Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> he knows it was rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. My guy, all you have to do is just not open the door for him. You don't have to leave the whole neighborhood just because you fumbled a conversation. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey. Is that the is the missus around? Look at him already in our business. No, not anymore. She died. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. He didn't say so sorry, but he might as well be. No, no, it's all right. Oh, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. He didn't know! Just like how you didn't know! And I gotta say, we should have just spit our toothpick at Brian's mm. face. I know he's not here anymore, he's not on the screen anymore, but I wish I would have said that when he was standing right there. That's the whole reason why I put the toothpick in our character's mouth, just so I could see that very thing, because I knew somebody was going to be a problem in this game. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Wait, why? I look at Joseph, quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. What? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of our neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> Sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids, a perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> we shake hands to seal the deal. Well, right. neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Why is everybody so awkward? Sure thing, neighbor. 
Like, seriously, why is everybody so awkward? Is this just like a world of introverts? Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. <sighs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. You never need to talk about stuff. I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh yeah, definitely the killer type. Mm -hmm. It's always the really good one. This is the stuff you will, you would hear about in those uh those podcasts where they talk about people. They be like, yeah, he was a really great person. He used to go to church all the time. Mm -mm. That's not to say everybody that goes to church turns out to be a killer, but uh, it's the hair and the pink shirt doesn't do it for me. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me. Let's suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. At least he didn't come brag about his daughters, right? Or daughters and sons. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookies in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. Yeah. See? You're already fitting in. Great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone, I'm sorry. Alright. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Wow, Amanda. So you ate all of them anyway. Uh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. Why Why didn't you just make him say that? Why did I have to choose that when we know that that's what he already wanted to do? I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. Huh. We're going to be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts. Exactly, especially Brian, his stupid daughter. I was about to call his daughter Amanda, but I know that's not her name. What's his daughter's name? This is great, because I already don't remember her name. With kindness. Absolutely not! Amanda and I step outside. We're not defeating them with kindness. That'd be rude, especially to Brian. Shoot. I'm actually not sure which house he's... Is he? Wait, which house is his? I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with the all well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. <laughs> Good eye, kid. That's kind of creepy. And remember, we need to make a, pos a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wait. Let me let me take a Oh oh my gosh! Oh it's like the the delightful children from down the lane from what is that cold day kids next door? What? These children aren't normal. They're not look at my daughter and look at his kid. Hey guys, is your dad around? Especially the two in pink. It's like they've been brainwashed since they're they were babies. They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to where's the fourth child? Uh, return this plate, and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's children. They all look exactly like him. Huh? They were actually really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckled nervously. Hmm. Well, okay, we're just going to set this plate down on the ground real gentle, and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Yeah, Joseph ain't the one. Don't go based off of his look, okay, Quentin? I knew something didn't seem right about him. I told you guys! Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kid's eye bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back, even as we approach our house. Is this a horror game? What just happened? Hmm. I knew it! I knew it! I need something to get my mind off, off of those car carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Yeah. You've been awake for, what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. Y'all, what the heck just happened? As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Quentin, bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Aw, look at the baby! Craig? Bro. Bro. Holy, wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. We used to- oh. 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 It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. I think he means your exterior, sir. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but... You're so big ah. now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Is that a girl? Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you 
I think you're about her size. Of course it's a girl. No one in this world has sons except for Joseph. And I don't even, he had two sons, but they don't count because those were children. I don't know what that was, those were. That was something from a Stephen King book. But everybody in this world, it's like girls are taking over the world in this, in this freaking world. This is River. That is a beautiful name. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. R River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Mm. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next, we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, a man and I just moved to this, sound of ta to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. <laughs> oh. She's actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. I was snaps what she was smashing all the homies. I'm sorry, I had to say it. But seriously, why did they call her Smashley? What did she do? I was snaps, so they were married, okay? Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Did she leave you with the baby? Or do you guys have joint custody? Which one is it? It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all co. co what? No! My microphone has been off this entire time, you guys! No! I was reading all of that. I forgot to push a little button on my controller, because I'm, I'm on a PS5, you guys. So you can mute it by pushing a little button, you guys. I, I've, I've talked about how it was disgusting that What's-His-Face drank the marinara sauce and how that's unhealthy. He's disgusting. Um, what else did I say? I said a whole bunch of stuff that I don't even remember. I don't even rem No! I'm so sorry. Y'all probably was reading in peace like, how come she's not saying anything and just giving past the text? Sorry, you guys, you're gonna have to read that on your own, because I don't think I could actually go back. Okay, of course. 
Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. A dog. All right. Forget our school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for you for me to give up my on my dream. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Hmm. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. How are y'all getting a lot of mail already? Speaking of college. <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Hey. This is from McGrowan College of Arts and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Mm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. <laughs> she takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. Do you have to be barbaric? Can't you just open it like a normal person? We have a letter opener, but okay. Exactly, your daughter's a little gremlin. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Man, I made a joke and I don't even remember what the joke was anymore. About what's his face? Craig. Craig the headstand champion. That guy was weird. He ate marinara sauce, you guys. Yeah, I said, what's he gonna eat next? A jar of mayonnaise? Drink some ketchup and mustard? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my, that's disgusting. Uh, the, the admission committee has revealed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Mm. Hold on, let me make sure I'm recording too before that jacks up everything. Yeah, I'm recording. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that you are un unable to... We are unable to offer you admission to McGrowan College of Art and Design. Uh. Wow, Amanda throws a letter on this coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Oh, well, you're stuck with me until you find somewhere else to go. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I know I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their mission officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. Oh, that's what else. Uh, well, I think I already. I think that got recorded. Hopefully. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Huh? Don't set her up for disaster, okay? Some people are really picky. She's got to work on her own, get her own stuff out there so other people can see it. Yeah, I know, it's fine. Like, if overalls became cool, do you think I'm about to go buy me a pair? Absolutely not. I used to hate those things. Y'all don't ask me what I'm talking about. <laughs> just let me do it, okay? Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Huh. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So, uh oh, he kick you kicking us out? You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. Wow, you let your own daughter kick you out of your house? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll actually have you know that I'm conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have a new place to yourself. You are a pushover. No wonder your daughter talks to you the way she does. <laughs> Can't she just have her bedroom to herself and you just don't bother them? You'll give her the entire house? Wow. Yeah. What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I am secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend a union meeting. I'm going clubbing. Yeah, let's not do something lame like make another stupid joke, okay? I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. No, he said tear it up on the dance floor. Can't you just say I'm just gonna go clubbing? All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the one all the kids these days are- Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cringy! Ah! I'm glad I didn't make you handsome. I'm glad I made you look like an idiot. Oh, that's what I was gonna- I think I said, why does my character look like something from, like, a children's cartoon, like, Ed and Eddie, and everybody else looks like anime character. I don't know if that got in there, but if it didn't, there you go. Mm -hmm. There's there, there I go, I just said it again, okay? Saved y'all the trouble. Alright, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding, I'm actually going to go to bed, go and watch the game. Just go to bed. You, know, you go stay in your house. I'm white. Have fun with the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. Yeah, you're not kicking me out of my house. 
I know you're not going to be going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega? Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early bird. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Smiley face. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing, I drift back to sleep. <laughs> Whoops. Must have winked back out. I check my phone again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. Craig, you're a pest. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it's Craig. I do want to catch up. Go back to sleep. Go to the gym. Craig is pretty cringe, but I'm going to go to the gym simply because I my microphone was off for half of that conversation I had with him. And I know you guys are kind of like, why did you go back and read it again? Do you guys really want me to go back and read that? I'm pretty sure you don't. I'm pretty sure you don't care, right? So we're going to go to the gym and read some of the stuff with him because you guys missed out on that part. So go ahead. Hey, my man. And I can't stand them talking like this. I need a few minutes to wake up, but let, let's meet in 20. After a few seconds, another text comes in. I don't know, Greg. You seem kind of overbearing. You you're just kind of just give me a few minutes. Like let let the let the let the text settle in a little bit, my guy. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. I stretch my bones and my bones crack. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket. And, hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with the blanket. I don't. I thought you said you were gonna go sleep in your room. What was the point of putting your bed together if you're gonna fall asleep on the couch? Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, head out. The neighborhood is quiet. Y'all, pardon my dog. He's barking at some random stuff. It's about the time children get out and, you know, people are shuffling about on the street. So he just barks at them. Sorry about him. Okay, the neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I saw Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastically. Oh. Hey, oh, and the, oh, oh, hey, bro. Good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe it's because I don't talk like that that it bugs me. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I mm -hmm. left. You ready to kick some butt? Gotta stay poisy. Poisy bro dude. With your help I am. Help! <laughs> what the freak? Help! This is it. This is how I die. What is that black stuff? Oh, it'll be alright, dude. Well ease you into it. Does that mean he hated that? All I said was help. We head to the gym and I'm immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half, and it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Oh. Oh, oh, he high fives and finger guns all the cool jocks in the room. How old are you? Finger guns? Really? Ha okay, can I ask anybody this? Have y'all ever seen somebody in their 20s finger gun towards somebody? No, right? Have you ever seen? Ah, buddy! Like, little, have you ever seen? No! They, they look like... They could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. How old is our guy? How old is he? Nice. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent pace place to work to be walking. So I know we're on treadmills. Nice. Yes. And those over there are the ellipticals. Oh. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> Craig laughs. <laughs> Not, I'm gonna have to stop soon. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I was hoping this gameplay could be like at least an hour, but you guys, it's the holiday tomorrow, and you know, there's just stuff happening now. Let's just go ahead and get some more of this in, and then I'm going to call it, you guys. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. They might have, they might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I love the gym, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. I don't like working out in front of other people though, but I do love having access to different machines and equipment. It's great. I watch as a dude and a muscle tee flexes a muscle. I don't know. I didn't know it. <laughs> Wait. Um, 
I watched the dude in a muscle T flexes the muscle I didn't know existed on a machine. I think I once used to process grain into flour. I can't stand our guy, honestly. What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? Oh. <laughs> That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Training to crush people's skull with his thighs, using a medieval torture device, praying to some sort of pain god. Yeah, sure, a torture device. There's a tiny man in there, right? And he did something that the court found unfavorable. And now the muscular dude is doing out, doling out justice in the form of pain. Oh, man. Craig, wait. I know, Craig. He's not funny, right? Nice. Oh, no. Craig's turning. <laughs> Craig's turning up the speed. I better do the same. Don't you dare. How, uh, how long have you been doing that? The, doing the buff thing? Hmm. A couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh. Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I love learning. I try to live my life as close to Jimmy Buffet songs. No, I check on my hot. We go keep it normal. I love learning. I try to educate myself about the world around me. I like the sponge for knowledge, soaking up all that intellectual content. You know, history, the paranormal, wilderness survival, uh, aliens, mostly things, those things. Oh. So you watch the History Channel too long. <laughs> yes. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Mm. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? That is a stupid conversation to have, Craig. Y'all, why did my cousin wreck a cousin? <clears throat> what is with you in these games you constantly keep recommending to me? Why? You find this funny. You find this funny. Huh. <sighs> No, I don't like this story. <laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? I guess I better do it too. You don't have to follow him. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. He's about to slip oh. off the machine. And we were at that party, and you vowed to make me feel better? Ooh. You tell me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. So you turn to drinking to solve your problems. Sounds like a pretty solid idea to me, you guys. Yeah, it, it couldn't, nothing could possibly go wrong with that in the future if that's how you decide to deal with your problems rather than just like, I don't know, talking about it. Yeah, do a keg stand, right? And then I try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. Hey. Did you stick your hand in a piranha tank? And then you drop the fish and it fl it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hand that you scooped up off the ground. You're yelling at me that we have to leave. Why are you- he just man never picked up a fish before- Why are you panicking? So we're running out of the frat party with the fish and trying to give it mouth to mouth resuscitation. What is wrong with you guys? And we give him, we get him home and get him into a bowl of water, but the prognosis was grim. Yeah, this is stupid. You guys are dumb. <laughs> what was this? And the next day he's alive and well. Bro. That poor fish seed. Y'all traumatized that poor fish. He never been the same. His eyeballs has always popped open, like wide open, isn't it? They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge Uyu. And they never will. I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Hey. Dude, bro, are you okay? Hey, bro. Bro, bro, but bro, 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 bro. Craig offers me a hand and looks, <laughs> looks me over for injury. I'm fantastic. <laughs> I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh, man. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Exactly. Oh, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Hmm. You sure? Yeah. Oh. Alright, well, here. I bought you this. Craig hands me a shaker bottle a shaker bottle full of thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must be apparent distaste. Uh -huh. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. Are you, you sure you don't want to say bro? He wants me to drink it? Oh boy, here goes. 
I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Protein shakes are good. Wow, this is really yeah. good. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Nice. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. Good one. Well, I'm going to go put some ice on this everything. I'll see you around. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me. Literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. Alright, guys, no, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, so we get home, and I'm really interested in Joseph at this point, the killer. His children look absolutely terrifying. That's a horror game I could definitely get behind. I wish this was a horror game. <laughs> But I'm going to call this here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. I will see you guys in the next gameplay or live stream. If you're interested in seeing more of this, just let me know. You guys, enjoy your Valentine's Day candy. Enjoy your Valentine's overall. And have a great day. Bye.